How has uh, Jackson responded to knowing he's going to be the guy this week? Well, today's the first day of practice, but I thought he looked good today. You know, I thought it was an offense. They practiced fast. Um, we're pretty sharp, and so that was good to see. We got to keep you know, stacking good days and, and uh, hopefully go play at a high level on Saturday. Do you sense any extra confidence, I guess, coming from him, given that he knows like he'll be the guy going forward, at least for this week? Not really. I think, you know, I don't think there's anything extra. I think Jackson's naturally a very confident kid and uh, um, carries himself the right way, expects good things to happen, and that goes a long way to put him in position. And, and I don't think this week's any different than any other week from that standpoint. Uh, like I said, I think you know, we had a pretty good day today. He's bouncing around and doing some good things. And so uh, we need to keep doing it and, and hopefully have a good day on Saturday. It seemed like the first two, it seemed like the last two games since he came back from his injury, you mixed in a lot of screen passes and stuff in the flat for him. Is that just kind of where you feel like he is in the offense at this point, or was that easing him back in after the injury? Uh, used to just trying to get on guys' touches, you know what I'm saying? And at times that's, uh, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily think it goes for him or whether it was him or Keaton in the game. I think that that was. You know, a lot of the screens and stuff like that was just trying to get guys touches and get them in space and, and uh, let those guys make plays for him. You know what I mean? And, and uh, but with him, just like with Keaton, I'm very. I mean, they they should know know the offense really well. And uh, you know, he's obviously younger and has a little bit less experience, but he still. Uh, I think he knows the offense, and especially this week, uh, the game plan, I think he knows really well. So I expect him to, to execute at a high level, you know, and we've had a little bit of an extra time with the game getting canceled last week, so we had a, a few extra days. Um, and so hopefully as an offense as a whole, the game plan, they haven't, you know, really had, really understand what we're trying to do, understand the job, and go execute at a high level, because if we do, I think uh, we can be really successful. UCLA is a pretty blitz-heavy group. Can you just talk about Jackson dealing with that and then the offense dealing with that as a whole. Yeah, they like to bring pressure and, and uh, you know, when you bring pressure, you, you, you can get to the quarterback at times, but you're also vulnerable at times. And so uh, that's going to be key. And, and as, a, as, a, as an entire unit, like you said, that's going to be important for us to handle the blitz well. And uh, whether it be protecting or whether it be getting rid of the football or, or knowing who we're trying to work to in the run game or whatever the case may be, um, it's going to be important for us to, to handle the blitz because they do. They blitz at a really high rate. And uh, so, again, um, our guys with the ball is going to have to go make plays. And at times, if you blitz, there's less people back there to make them miss. And so, if we can get the ball in their hands, uh, we, we feel like with it, you know, we can put our guys in a really good position to be successful. And, uh, you know, with Jackson, it's no different for him. You know what I mean? He's got to go through his reads. He's got to understand what we're trying to do and, and understand when they're trying to blitz. That, that his time clock has to speed up a little bit. You know, one thing that Jackson does a really good job of is extending plays with his feet and, and being able to make plays with his feet. And there's probably going to be times where he has to do that. But um, again, that's that's you know something the entire offense has to deal with when, when they bring pressure, um, and, and we got to go make plays against it. The like, receivers kind of got their first taste of life without the drink. Like, extended time, time. Now with with the bye week, how have they sort of settled in and been from those guys? Again, based off today, they had a really good day, and and, and I think that you know. We were a little lighter on them last week, and so hopefully they're, they're really fresh. Um, when those guys are playing fast, they can be really, really good, you know, and they can be tough to cover. And so uh, hopefully we go in there with fresh legs, play really fast, and go make plays. But I think that they, uh, you know, I think like you said, with, with Drake not being here for an extended period of time now, I think that they kind of settle into the roles and know what they have to do. And uh, know for this offense to be successful, those guys got to make, you know, the rest of them have to go make plays too. And uh, I think they're excited about the opportunity. You know, they should be, obviously, there's going to be a lot of balls, uh, or, or, you know, a lot more opportunities for, for everyone else. And uh, like I said, I, I think they're excited about that and expect them to go make plays. What, what's the biggest way Jackson's grown from the guy you scouted a year ago to what he is now as a quarterback? Uh, you know, the, that's the great thing about Jackson is, is he doesn't change much, you know what I mean? And, and so, uh, you know, I think from an offensive standpoint, just his grasp, grasp of knowing what we're doing and stuff like that is, is – continuing to grow every day and, and uh, so um, I think that that's, that's obviously key but from a but from a mentality standpoint and, and stuff like that uh, he's been special since the day he got here and you know that's, you can see that on even his high school tape just the way guys rally around him the way that he makes the guys around him better um, that's one of the, you know he's obviously a talented quarterback but he's also a really really uh, he's a good leader he's a guy that, that has great energy and when he steps foot on the field I think the other guys 
um, they elevate the play because he's out there, and that's uh, one of the you know one of the things we're most excited about, and, and we hit on that. So um, we look forward to, to for him to have the opportunity to go play the whole time and, and, and make a lot of plays. Where is he at? From where is Jackson at a mobility standpoint at this point? He looks good to me. You know, I, he's a, he's a tough kid, and, and so I think that at times, no matter how he feels, he tells you he feels good, and so he uh, you know he looks good. He's moving well. Um, you know, I know early on coming back, he's like, Coach, you know, r rolling to the left, I don't feel as confident. And I asked him the other day how he feels. He's like, Coach, I'm going to go on to anything. And so um, I think from a mobility standpoint, he's back, you know. And uh, a lot of it, I think, when you're first working back, a, you know, it's just a confident thing. And, and he's had, I don't know, three or four weeks, six weeks, maybe four or five weeks, you know, back now. And so I think his confidence is there. And, and like I said, I don't, I don't see any difference in what he was before then. And so, uh, I expect to be able to move around well, make play with his feet, and uh, be the Jackson that they've been through before.